This is a new breakthrough innovative teaching concept that I've been teaching some of my students. It's been working. I've been doing it myself and I believe in a year it will be the norm for teaching. It's based on J.W. Johnson's paddle position when he's thinking at the kitchen because he's extremely offensive, right? Extremely offensive. What is he actually doing? And I think I know. The tip of the paddle, this right here, is somewhat facing his opponents, right? Maybe it's a little more down, but it's somewhat facing his opponents. Why is this? Think of golf. When you set up for golf, you set up where you're addressing the ball. But what happens in pickleball, why you're being so passive, and this is more of a concept. Again, you can disagree in comments, but I believe if you look at your paddle position in rec play tomorrow morning, and please text me 908-907-3613 because I really care about you, but it's probably down here or here, right? Here. But why would it actually be here when you're dinking or down here? Shouldn't it be where J.W. Johnson's racket position is? And it's almost somewhat pointed like this, right? Almost like a maybe cat or a hawk with the talons, right? He's just ready to talon it, right? Why? Two reasons. One, he can easily roll the ball if needed because his paddle's right here. All he has to do is grip, right? He grips it, the paddle naturally turns over because he's that good. He's not swinging, he's what? Twisting his wrist, manipulating his wrist. J.W. Johnson is in black and look at his paddle position. It's lower right to bait them into doing that. Obviously, that's what a renowned coach told me. However, I would go one step farther and saying we're missing a very, very important piece. Here's J.W. again really doing that, right? Forehand roll, really baiting them into that. However, watch him follow that ball into his paddle. He's almost absorbing the energy from that ball. And I'll take it one step farther in a little bit. <laughs> Two, and this is where it gets really interesting. If you're doing this, right? This, like a hawk going down for its prey, what's gonna happen when you go to dink, right? You drop it back, right? Because you have to. Because if J.W. Johnson's here, right? His grip pressure is probably maybe a three or four because he's holding his paddle and his paddle's not facing down, right? So his grip pressure is more than a three, in my opinion, which goes against the traditional coach and it really does. However, if he can't take it out of the air, what happens? He quickly releases all the pressure, all the pressure. So say if it's four or five, it goes to a zero, right? Why does it do this? simple we do this so we can keep the ball longer on the paddle because with these new carbon fiber paddles we want to keep the ball longer on the paddle so we can apply more spin so we can be more dynamic and catch our opponents off guard jw is still in black and watch him have his paddle out in front however when that ball comes into his paddle he brings it back he's almost mirroring the ball mirroring the ball but why again this is a concept video but in my mind he's doing this to hold the ball on the paddle a split second longer by doing this he can use more spin both with dinking and speeding up he can manipulate his wrist and do a lot more with that ball because those new carbon fiber paddles can do so much more and this game's getting faster and faster every single day when he can't take that roll it goes to almost a zero right he goes really far back and see how this paddle gets behind my wrist why does it do this so he can spin the ball right because he's following the ball in and when you follow the ball in, like I was a tennis coach, if I throw this up and I follow the ball in, you really absorb energy. So in essence, J.W. Johnson has a strong grip pressure, releases it, 
to absorb some energy to let the ball stick farther on his paddle. We start out with a four or five grip pressure, right? We do that, the ball's coming, we can't take it out of the air. We go to a what? A zero, so we get it really far back here. I'm absorbing some energy so I can really do a little more with the ball with these carbon fiber paddles because if you're paying $200 for this, you might as well use it. To demonstrate, he's really keeping the ball on the paddle a lot longer, right? So, boom, and then he's really, it's tough for me to even do, to be honest, but here's some video. This is a concept video again. Please leave comments, am I making any sense at all? And look at J.W. Johnson still in black. He's really mirroring the ball. Let's say just mirroring it, keep that term. What else does his paddle position do? Take a look at this point again. It makes him look faster for the low balls when they speed it up at your feet, right? Because it's lower already at your feet with his paddle position. And look how fast he is. He's so fast. Again, J.W. Johnson almost has a paddle right here, right? He's being really offensive. He's trying to roll it. If he can't roll it, he drops that paddle really far back, right? Boom, can't roll it, drops it far back. But then he can really do a lot with that wrist as he's going through, right? Four, but then you can really do a lot more. So what is J.W. Johnson really doing? He's here to absorb that energy like he's catching a ball, right? And I'll show you here, boom, absorb the energy and then go with it, right? But he's really absorbing that energy so he can go this way, he can go this way. Heck, he can even go this way. He can do anything, but he's keeping the ball more on the paddle. And again, this is more of a concept video because I need more comments. That's what I need. This was another really good video in the top right hand corner. Look, it really was, I swear. And look at this point. Look at JW Johnson. Should you be trying this in rec play? Please leave your comments because I think you should. I really do, but I might be wrong. And don't forget to have a good day.